Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC and welcome to our 2022 Dual Sport and Adventure Jacket Buyer's Guide. All right, everyone, thank you so much for checking in. If you are shopping for your next Dual Sport Adventure Jacket, we're here to help you out today. We're gonna go through and show you five really good options that could be awesome for dual sport adventure as well as well as touring riding. Now, as we go through, we are gonna work our way up in price as well as technicality. And when it comes to dual sport adventure riding, you gotta ask yourself a few questions. You know, what type of jacket are you looking for? Do you want waterproof? Do you want an insulated liner that's removable? What kind of protection are you looking for? So think of those questions as we go through and talk about these. And hopefully one of these jacks will kind of talk to you and then go watch product spotlights where you can learn more about these. And if you do have questions, leave those below in the comment section. We'll help get those answered for you. Now, with that being said, let's kick it off with jacket number one, which is the Baja jacket from O'Neill Racing. If you're just wanting to get a good entry level jacket that's not going to break the bank, the Baja is a good place to start. And honestly, at about $100, there's quite a bit of value with this jacket. Now, quick note on sizing. Jake is wearing a size medium. This jacket does fit a little bit large. Jake's about six feet tall, 190 pounds, a little over 40 inch chest at his size. You typically think he'd probably be in a size large, but a medium fits him really, really good. Keep in mind, we do have our fit guarantee. If you don't like how any jacket, pant, boot, any apparel item fits, you can send it back in brand new, unused condition, and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange so you can get the size that's going to be perfect for what you are looking for. Now with this, here's a couple things you want to know. Heavy duty denier fabric with the Baja. The sleeves on this jacket are removable, which is actually nice. So if you're gonna be doing some off-road, more dual sport type riding, you can take the sleeves off. There's a rabbit pouch in the back you can put those inside of. So I actually do like the versatility of removable sleeves, but this jacket is not waterproof. It's just water resistant. That is one big factor you want to consider. But you have over 10 pockets on this jacket, so plenty of places to put your items. There is a waterproof or waterproof pocket right here in the front. And then on the back too, you have big exhaust fence to help this thing breathe on those warm days. Aside from that, you do have armor inside here, but it's not CE certified. So you've got shoulder, elbow, and back pads. But what's nice is that that armor is removable. So if you wanted to upgrade the armor to something like say D3 molecular armor that is CE certified, this jacket does give you the ability to do that. Now also, last thing I will say as far as a fitment standpoint, this jacket does have enough room underneath that if you were in say maybe a chest protector or, or even if you maybe went up a size and you're wearing a protection jacket underneath, you could do that versus trying to upgrade the armor that already comes in the jacket. Last thing I will mention with the Baja as far as the pant goes, with the pant, they don't have a matching pant to this. Instead, Jake is wearing the Apocalypse pant in a size 34, it fits him well. The Apocalypse pant is just a really well-built off-road over the boot style pant. There is no armor in the knees. That is one thing that you want to factor, but the material, how they build this thing is very heavy duty. It's got a good fit. So overall, if you pair the Baja jacket with that Apocalypse pant, you're getting a good value at a great price. All right, jacket number two, this is the off track from Revit. So you do bump up quite a bit in price here up to about 400 bucks, but there are some notable upgrades and some differences between this and that Baja from O'Neill. So quick note on fitment, Jake is wearing a size large. Now Revit being a European company, this jacket does have more of that European fit to it. So it is a snugger fit for Jake. He could honestly, if he wanted to, probably bump up to an XL. So you really just gotta ask yourself, you know, how do you want your jacket to fit? But with this off track, here are the upgrades that you're getting. The construction, 450 denier, denier for the main shell. You've got 600 denier in the elbows for added abrasion resistance. You've got a lot of venting on this jacket, which we'll talk more about here in just a second. But another big upgrade with this jacket is that you now have CE rated armor in the shoulders as well as the elbows and CE level two, which will absorb more impact than just CE level one. Now I do want to point out with this jacket that there is no armor on the back or the chest, but there are pockets inside that if you did want to get armor for this, it's their sea soft armor, which you would buy separately. Also with this, it does have the Hydrotech waterproof liner, which is removable. So this jacket is waterproof and there is a removable thermal liner. So you're getting your cold weather, your rain conditions, the jacket's gonna have you covered. But what I like about this jacket too, is that if you were to take that waterproof liner and the thermal liner out, you have this 3D mesh here on the chest as well as the back and big old vents in the front. So in warm, hot weather conditions, if you're rocking just the shell, you're gonna get a lot of airflow going through this. And you notice too that on the waist as well as the forearm, some other areas, you just have a little bit more adjustment than with that Baja from O'Neill. So overall, with the Revit off track, if you want a four season jacket that I also think would do good in warm, hot weather conditions, 
then the off track would be awesome. Now keep in mind too, he's wearing the matching off track pant. Now, just like the jacket, the pants gonna have very similar construction. Again, you've got CE level two armor in the knees. You've got CE level one armor in the hip. Again, that European fit, you notice he wears a size 34 pant. He's wearing a 34 in these, but they are pretty snug down along the bottom. So that is something to keep in mind. But overall, for 400 bucks, the off track is a really good jacket. So following up the off track we just showed you, now we have the Sand 4 H2O from Revit. So this is another four season jacket from Revit. As far as sizing goes, again, Jake's wearing a size large in this one as well, has a very similar fit to the off track. Now they are similar in some ways. With the Sand 4 H2O, you have the removable thermal liner. You've got the waterproof liner also on the inside. But here's the notable upgrades because you jump up about $100 in price point for this jacket. One is the construction. So on the Sand 4 H2O, they use a nylon ripstop fabric, so that's an upgrade as far as durability and abrasion resistance goes. Same armor in the shoulders and the elbows, and again, just like the off track, there is no armor in the chest or the back, but it does have those pockets, so if you do want that sea soft armor, you could buy that separate and add it to this. But here's what's kind of nice about this. First of all, the armor in the elbow is adjustable, so when you get this jacket, there's actually multiple adjustment points to fine tune exactly where that armor sits to get that fit just right for you. Also, the venting design. The vents on this jacket are larger. So when you look at the chest vents here, these things are massive, they go all the way down. Also, when you look at the bicep vents, now you're going from the very top of the arm all the way to the cuff at the wrist. With the off track, the chest vents and the arm vents were just a little bit shorter, so not gonna flow as much air. And again, you got the big exhaust vents in the back. Now, like the off track, this does have a matching pant. And one thing I forgot to mention with the off track is that both of these jackets do have zippers that will connect to the pants if you want to do that. Now, like the off track pant, you've got the armor in the knees as well as the hips, and the fit on this is gonna be very similar. So again, with the Sand 4 H2O, the upgrades here, the ripstop fabric, the adjustable elbow armor, and then of course, the venting design on this is going to be a little bit better than what we saw on the off track. So the next jacket we have is the Klein Baja S4. This is our pick for the rider who spends the majority of their time in warm and hot weather riding. And you want a jacket that can flow a ton of air, but not sacrifice with durability as well as protection. If that's what you're after, Baja S4 is a really good pick. Now you jump up about $50 from the Sand 4 H2O that we just showed you, but check this thing out. This thing is pretty dang bomb proof. Now the fit on this jacket, Jake is wearing a size large. Now in true climb fashion, their jackets definitely have more of a roomier, more adventure cut to it. So if you like more room in your jacket, then the Baja S4 is going to be good. Now you've got good armor in this jacket. You've got CE level one D3 armor in the shoulders and the elbows. And another upgrade now too, is that there is a D3 CE level one back pad that will come included with this jacket as well. So you're getting an upgrade there. But like I said, when it comes to warm, hot weather conditions, you've got to flow air. Now this jacket is not waterproof and there is no thermal insulated liner. So if you're going to be riding in cooler conditions, you would need that thermal liner included. But because you have so much room inside, that should not be an issue. Now they do recommend, however, the Enduro S4 jacket, if you want to wear it, make this waterproof, you wear that S4 Enduro jacket over top of this, if you do find yourself in those conditions. But here's how they get this jacket to flow so much air and not sacrifice durability. You've got this shoulder Dynatech mesh all over this entire jacket, which is incredibly abrasion resistant, but being mesh, it still flows a lot of air. You've got their carbonite mesh also, which is a thousand D Cordura, which has stretch to it. So plenty of mobility with the jacket and in the shoulders and the elbows, you have super fabric, which to my knowledge is the most durable, most abrasion resistant fabric that companies are using on any jacket. So again, with the Baja S4, bomb proof jacket meant to flow as much air as possible. Now with the pant, again, you've got similar construction with the pant. You've got that shoulder Dynatech mesh. You've got the super fabric over top the knees. With the armor in the knees, you've also got armor here in the hips. Now, another thing with the knee panels that's nice is that you've actually got perforated goat skin leather knee panels versus cowhide. Again, another upgrade that we didn't see before. So overall, like I said, with the Baja S4, this thing is built to take a beating, but flow as much air as possible. So for warm and hot weather conditions, this is our top pick. So the last jacket that we're gonna show you today, this is the Badlands Pro from Climb. Now look, a lot of people are familiar with the Badlands Pro. This is, you can easily say, the most protective, most durable jacket that Climb makes. If you want the last jacket you'll ever have to buy, this should be it. Now keep in mind, you're making a big investment with the Badlands Pro. You're gonna be about $1,000 
for this jacket. But we're gonna go through and show you some of the standout features and what makes this jacket just so bomb proof and the protection. We don't have time to tell you everything about it, so that's why you wanna watch the product spotlights where we go through all the details of this jacket. But before we get there though, let's talk about fitment real quick. So Jake's wearing a size medium in the Badlands Pro. He's wearing a large in that Baja S4. And Jake on the size and scale is kind of in no man's land. It's kind of right between sizes. So we want to put him in a medium just to see what it looks like on him, but he does prefer the fit of a size large. So just something to keep in mind there. But here's what you're getting with the Badlands Pro. So first of all, the shell construction. This is Gore-Tex. So that Baja S4 did not have waterproofing. This is the three-layer Pro Gore-Tex laminated shell. And what that means is that the Gore-Tex is laminated to the shell itself. There's no thermal insulated liner inside here, but this is the most breathable and waterproof shell construction that Gore-Tex makes, and that's what you're getting with the Badlands Pro. And on top of that, when you just look at the construction, like I said, this thing is meant to just go to war. You've got this 500 denier carbonite ripstop fabric in those high abrasion areas. You've got the super fabric in the shoulders as well as the elbows. And also when you talk about the armor, so they're using their Aero Pro armor in the shoulders and the elbows, which is D3O, but it's CE level two, and it's just more breathable than what we saw with that Baja S4. And they also have the Viper Pro back pad in this jacket, which is CE level two. So you bump up all the way when it comes to protection. Also on the inside, there is a kidney belt inside here. So with the Baja S4, you could put a kidney belt in that jacket. It does not come included, but that will be inside this. And the reason for that is just to help kind of support some of the weight of the jacket. Because yes, with the construction, with all the protection that you're getting with the Badlands Pro, it is a heavier jacket. So that kidney belt really does help alleviate some of that weight that you get from that. But Tons of pockets on this jacket, a really good venting design, and what's cool is that they have a sleeve built into this jacket in the back that can take a two or a three liter hydration bladder. It doesn't come included, but it can take that. So overall, like I said, go watch the product spotlight, but if you want the most durable, just absolutely bomb-proof jacket that Klein makes, then the Badlands Pro is what you should be looking for. As far as the pant goes, again, jacket to pant zipper combination. You've got all the same materials that make up the pant. You're getting the upgraded armor that we talked about in the knees as well as the hips. You've got the leather panels on the inside of the knee and the fit on the pant is gonna be just like that Baja S4 that we just showed you. So again, if you want the most bomb-proof, go with the Badlands Pro. And that does it. That is our 2022 Dual Sport and Adventure in Touring Jacket Buyer's Guide. So hopefully today we've kind of pointed out some of the key features in these jackets that might help you be interested in one or maybe a couple. So go watch the product spotlights. Again, if you have questions, we'd love to get those answered. So make sure, leave those in the comment section below. We'll help you out. To grab your next jacket, click on the link or head over to RockyMountATVMC.com. While you're there, remember to read, write, reviews. You can also ask questions on the product pages to get answers from customers who have bought and are using the jackets and the pants that we just showed you today. If you're shopping for all your adventure gear, we have helmet buyers guys, we have boot buyers guys, so give those a watch to get your gear and ready for your next ride. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.